I'm Bruce Shane, and today I'm going to show an application of Bernoulli's principle called the Magnus Effect. Now, it's a simple demonstration, and it can also be a lot of fun. So let's take a closer look. Now, these flyers can be made out of all sorts of materials. These are cups and bowls that are made out of foam. Now, let's go see how it's put together. The construction is very simple. Take the cups and put them bottom to bottom, and a piece of tape is going to hold them tightly against each other. Let's get this wrapped around here. And press it down tight so they hold, and there we go. And we did that with the plastic ones, and also with the paper. Now I start with four small rubber bands and simply loop them together. So there's two. And there's the third one, and we'll add one more. So here's my long single rubber band. For my bigger pieces I use large rubber bands and this one I use for my very largest piece. Now let's go try it. We start by holding the rubber band in the center of the cups, wind it around three or four times, stretch it out in front, pull it back and release. Now let's try that again. Now we also have a variety of plastic cups to choose from. These small cups work really well. Now we have a variety of paper cups. Let's go try a couple of these. Now this largest one is made from two popcorn barrels. Let's go see how it flies. Pour it back and release it. <laughs> so the question is, what actually causes this Magnus effect? Now the rubber band is wrapped around the cups it's stretched back, and when I release it, the cups go forward, and as it travels forward, the cups are actually spinning in this direction. Now, to see this a little bit better, I put an LED light inside this cup. Now, let's shoot it. Now, using the long exposure of the camera, we can see the trail of the cup moving upward, and also that it's spinning at the same time. Now, with a little investigation, you can find out how this movement causes an object to curve. Now what do you think would happen if we wound the rubber bands in the opposite direction? So the cups are now going to spin this way as they travel forward. Well, let's try it and see. <laughs> so now the cup curves downward. Now we can also try changing the orientation of the cup, so now that it's vertical instead of horizontal, and see what effect that has. This causes the cup to curve sideways. Now, I do want my students to try this for themselves, but in that case, we use these foam cups simply because they have a shorter flight path. Josh, oh. 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 <laughs> Two, three. Yes. Two, three, go! Let it go! <laughs> so, I found the flying cups to be a good activity for students to investigate. There are several variables that they can change, and they will see how they affect its flight path. Now, I gave myself a challenge, and that was to build a holder that would keep the cup in place until I'm ready to fire it. So I call this my cup gun. The rubber band is wrapped and stretched the same way, only it's this wooden piece that's holding it in place rather than in my hand. Pull the trigger, 